Well, as raw reactions go, I don't have much to say because just this very small and very quick spot was not enough. I'm still kind of puzzled as to what the big deal is. If you think I'm perhaps nitpicking or even cherry picking, no, I saw this trailer in the theaters and I was as confused then as I am confused now. If they didn't say Dracula, I really would be, okay? It's a story about people being terrorized on a ship. Lighting seems good, cast seems solid, and it's intriguing premise enough, but really it's not enough. So I had to, even though this is non-spoiler, go into reviews to figure out what the hell is the voyage of Demetrius? And even there, there's sort of a split. Some people are saying this is a very, very solid horror film. Others are like, this is very, very below average. Unclear why we should care. It has some people from the cast of Dune as well as Game of Thrones. So the performances will presumably be very, very strong. And it does have a visual style. And if they didn't have those moments of, quote, sunlight at the beginning, I would think this is all going to be dreary darkness. But no, apparently we do see sunlight sometimes. But from what I'm getting is Dracula in this form is just monster and he kills. People get in the way, he kills them. That's about it. Even if you are into vampire fiction, which I am, this is really for a very hardcore small audience. In fact, it's really ironic. It's really for the book readers because you might be thinking, what is this still about? It's apparently a very small chapter in the Dracula book. And it's been a while since I've read the source novel. So if you really like that small section, this is really great for you. But otherwise, yeah, I'm going to need a little bit more. On a final note, this actually reminded me a lot of Fevra Dream with George R.R. R. Martin. I'm not saying they stole or copied it, but the premises are actually remarkably similar. So I'm guessing somebody did read Fevra Dream and said, hey, let's just mix the two together. We're mixing a little Dracula and George R.R. R. Martin, but we're not seeing kind of the brilliance of either. It just feels like a very... Uh, Simple, Dracula is hungry, he's on a ship, he's gonna eat people. That's about it.